What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs. Just going to be a little short review on the Boom PYT Revolution 50cc scooter. And uh, real quick, guys, I bought this from SaferWholesale.com 11 months ago. And uh, at that time, guys, I never had a owned a scooter, never rode one. Just uh, thought they were pretty neat. So uh, I was to that point in my life where a stimulus check was going to come in. The first one for a thousand two hundred. I just uh, got done. Um, had a car accident. I had my case dismissed in court. It was not my fault, but uh, my car. I lost it because it was damaged. Didn't have no full coverage. With that being said, guys, I was giving it a real good thought about what to do with that stimulus money. And I knew I needed transportation. So what I came to thinking was, should I buy a used car? And I'm like, no, nah, I think things going to either be a lemon. Like uh, all my experiences in life, when I bought a used car for a thousand bucks or under, um, the person made me really believe that it was going to be a good buy, a reliable car. And most of the time, they would be like, yeah, well, we're going to smog it for you. But here, you know what, we'll drop a hundred or something, two hundred off of there. So you go ahead and uh, smog it yourself. And I'd be a little excited, like, man, I could get this car today. Yeah, I believe this guy. And it turns out to be that the damn thing would never pass smog. Or if I bought a car and if it was passed on smog, had tags, it just didn't really work well for too long. So I didn't want to buy... Uh, I didn't want to buy a used car. But then I was like, so what other options do I have? A motorcycle? So I started looking at motorcycles. Because I, I live a single life, guys. Uh, so I basically only got to think about transportation for myself. So I was thinking, yeah, you know, I had a motorcycle once. That was pretty neat. Pretty uh, good on gas. Had a Honda 750. But everything I was finding online and whatnot, I was like, nah, that ain't gonna work. Nah, not that one. So then I was thinking, well, but how about scooters? Because I was watching YouTube and I started looking at some nice Honda Ruckuses, some Vespas, Piaggios, and stuff like that. And I was thinking, man, I didn't know they were so expensive. But yeah, I started looking for brand new Vespas and whatnot. And there they were 3500 3700 4000 something. And I'm like, good lord definitely out of my budget so then um, what I guess for me looking on looking at scooters the internet automatically uh, or the yeah the internet automatically uh, gave me this here thing about uh, like Chinese scooters and whatnot basically you know aftermarket names and so basically I was like man that's more my area 700 something for that little scooter but something not of my taste not of my liking and then I was thinking well man I like that 50cc scooter right there and you ain't gotta have no license whatnot well everything was looking pretty good guys so I started doing a lot more research on the scooters and I ended up buying me this here 50cc boom PYT revolution uh, scooter that I'm actually riding right now now to talk about the last 11 the last the, the experience I had for these last 11 months with the scooter let me share my honest, honest uh, experiences with you guys. Short words, man. <laughs> it's freaking lovely, guys. Now, to give you a little bit more details, I didn't expect I didn't expect this much great performance from the scooter, guys. I ride, uh, I ride no less than 36 miles every day, and no more than 50 miles on a day basis. Well, this scooter had only one breakdown, and it wasn't—it wasn't because mechanical uh, mechanical problem with the engine, and uh, it was uh, the dry belt that just got wore out. Like I never even expected it. Uh, you're supposed to inspect your dry belt for sure within a thousand kilometers, you know. And it was already th uh, three thousand kilometers and a half whenever this dry belt decided to shred up and just say hey I had enough's enough man and uh, it was it was my fault I don't blame that on the scooter one bit so I bought the new belt for it I was towed home 
bought a new belt bought an impact gun which is the main tool that you would use for quick and easy access to get to the dry belt and put it back on so man this scooter has not given me no problems whatsoever guys besides that and one time I did notice that my scooter was cutting out at a red light I would have to keep the gas on so I thought it was the idle screw but no matter how many times I would adjust that idle screw it was still cutting cutting out at the stop lights and the stop signs and it couldn't be a vacuum line that was uh, crack and weather beaten it was uh, needing changing so I went to the auto parts store bought real quick a little six foot stretch of some, uh, rubber hose line threw it on here back to the running top shape so the only thing about 11 months is a vacuum line that went bad on me guys and a, a dry belt that shredded on me and both of those are, be, are expected to happen but as far as the scooter riding and uh, keeping up with every day uh, yeah, man, it rides good. I'll rate, uh, I'll rate this freaking scooter a four and a half star, man. That's how confident I am. How much I like the scooter, it gets a four and a half star rating. Uh, once I get over a year going on to two years, I could definitely give it a five star. See how that works out. But I really want to say I give it a five star, but still got some more time, guys. I just got 11 months of owning this. See, with this here scooter guys I need to I bought it because I need to commute two towns over so this is my hometown that I'm actually recording in with you guys right now and uh, two towns over which is 18 miles away is my destination where I have to go to my clinic every morning like right now guys I'm already back in my hometown I'm just on my return trip back from my clinic and my house is actually in that direction and I'm going this way it's a beautiful morning I'm enjoying a nice ride where am I going nowhere in particular just enjoying a nice morning little joy ride this scooter's already rode 18 miles up and I've already been back uh, on the 18 mile return trip so right now we're going on 40 miles. It doesn't smell hot. It doesn't, it doesn't show me no signs that it needs to take a break or nothing. <laughs> Doing really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, I find myself passing by this park. I feel bad because every time I pass by this park, I want to pull over and feed the ducks and the geese, you know? Yeah, yesterday I drove, I rode through this park and I saw four brand new boxes of cereal. And I right away looked around and nobody was there, just somebody left it there, right? And I said to myself, unsweetened cornflakes, I know the cats, I mean the ducks would love that, you know? So I opened up every box and I poured it on the ground and the ducks tore it up, man. And see, if I wasn't a kind rider, or you know, somebody on the road here, somebody would just probably ran them over if they were evil, or, you know, like. <laughs> hey, duckies. Yes, I really dig stuff like this. I don't know if I'm just a nature guy or what, but uh, I like watching stuff like this. You guys have a good day. Looks like we got three mallards, and I don't know what the white ones are called besides ducks. Yeah, they came on this side over here to get some kind of different kind of grub. Over there is just basically the same grub that they used to every day. They took the chance of crossing the road to come over here. Alright guys, I want to get out of here. I wanted to make sure the ducks got across the road safe. Whoa, whoa, 
easy cowboy Xfinity hold on there partner yeah man no more buses since I had the scooter I really don't miss riding those buses one bit guys Strobe. 